Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. What happened to the Armenians of Mush? Statement of the Artsakh State Minister. Armenians and Chinese have known about each other's existence since time immemorial. Levon Abelian. In Turkey, attacks are being carried out in the graves and shrines of non-religious people. U.S. report. Quran thinks family lawyers have appealed to the Supreme Court. Ancient Armenian inscriptions found in Egypt surprise scientists. As of 1914, 130,000 Armenians lived in Amush of Baghesh, province of Western Armenia. There were 299 churches, 94 monasteries and 53 places of pilgrimage. There were 5,669 students in 135 schools. Mush was one of the religious centers of Armenian Christianity. In Mush, there was a Kalagavank or the Monastery of St. Karapet, which was founded by the Grigori the Illuminator. What happened to so many people? What happened to the students of these schools, the congregation of these churches and monasteries? Are they ruins of these structures today? In the list presented on our official website, you will get acquainted with the names of villages, churches and monasteries of Mush. In an interview with Ria Novosti, Artsakh State Minister Artak Beglarian stated, Taking into account the format of Minsk Group co-chairs and effective role of Russian peacekeeping missions, we believe that the issue of settlement of the Artsakh conflict should not be a subject of negotiation for the European Union. The settlement of Artsakh problem is impossible in the future, since there is a serious contradiction of positions between Artsakh and Azerbaijan. We will continue to make efforts for the international recognition of the Republic of Artsakh. After the international recognition of Artsakh independence, it will also be possible to consider the issue of public becoming part of Armenia. Azerbaijan currently feels strong. In addition, this country received military and political support from Turkey. So the Artsakh authority will take the ways to gradually, step by step, solve their problems and in the future through direct negotiations with Azerbaijan. Armenians and Chinese have known about each other's existence since time immemorial. The word Armenia in Chinese sounds like Ya Mai Ni Ya, which means beautiful Asian girl. In Armenian sources, legends and fairy tales, China is called the country of Chen Si, China. There is reliable information that even before our era, Armenians often traveled to China for commercial purposes and exported silk and other goods. Armenian medicines, paints and minerals were in demand in China, especially for tan bread, which was used to dye the best types of Chinese and Indian silk. Armenian merchants traded silk and other goods. One of the most famous Chinese Armenians was Hovhannes Ghazarian, known by the nickname John Lazar. At the beginning of 19th century, he was the first to translate the Bible into Chinese. Read the full article on our official website. The U.S. State Department has published the latest annual report on religious freedoms, which talks about religious freedom in different countries. Noting the year 2021, the Turkish section of the report criticized the government's work style regarding religious freedoms. The report states that the Constitution proclaims the country a state, enshrines freedom of religion, sought and worship, and prohibit discrimination on religious grounds. The report touched upon the powers and responsibilities of the committee, noting that if mainly contributed to the development of Islam, giving impetus to a creation of Islamic educational institutions. The report also notes that the government continues to restrict the rights of non-Muslim religious minorities, in particular Armenian Orthodox Christians, Jews and Greek Orthodox Christians. According to the report in January of this year, an Armenian Christian MP condemned the destruction of the 17th century Armenian church in Kutahia, which was protected by law. Reference was also made to the violation of the religious rights to the Alevi minority, the Kurds and various other nations. Following the rejection of the application of the parties on the trial of state officials by the Court of Appeal in Hrant Dink case, the lawyers of the Hrant Dink family applied to the Supreme Court to appeal this decision. The lawyers of Hrant Dink family opposed it after the 14th Court of Kastad Napol for Serious Crimes published its brief decision on March 2021. In their 19-page motion, the lawyers objected to the justification of some of the defendants and a course of preliminary investigation and demanded that the decision to be overturned. The lawyers also stressed that no proper investigation was conducted in the direction of the events preceding the murder of Hrant Ding and before the murder the organizers were released from criminal persecution. The lawyers noted that it was not disclosed by whom exactly the murder was decided and by what processes the murder was directed. 
About 110 ancient Armenian inscriptions have been found on the Sinai Peninsula. The protocols of 5th century testify that Armenians love to travel all over the world from the very beginning. According to Michel Stone, a professor of the Herbert University of Jerusalem, the number and distribution of Armenian writings are amazing. Judging by the writing of graffitis, Armenians were one of the most active groups of Christians in Sinai. However, not only the number of protocols amazing, but also the age. The the oldest Armenian inscription in Western Armenia dated back to 490 AD in Tekoria, southern east of Kars. One of the oldest surviving manuscripts from King Malke is the so-called Ghost Pale, dating back from 862 BC. However, the tombstone found under the Basilica in Nazareth, where Jesus grew up, contains an Armenian script dating back to 447 BC. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.